Welcome back to another thrifting video guys. We are outside my local Goodwill. Let's run inside and see what we can find to flip for a profit. Atomic is a fantastic brand of ski boots to look out for. 20s paying up, but these should sell for about $100. I love selling this brand. It usually sells faster than others. Here's a really good pair. Another one, Nordica, is a great selling brand. These ones are only 10 bucks. And here's another pair of Nordica. I'm gonna try these. This is a good colorway. It was $18. I don't know if I wanna pay 18 for these, but I will definitely pay 10 for these. These might be really good. Even for $13, these Nikes. I don't know the name of this model, but I'm pretty sure these are really good. And then I didn't get a chance to film it because these came off a new cart. So I grabbed these Jordans. They are 10. I got to look them up. I think they're a pretty basic model. And then I also got these Nike Metcons, which are $8 in a really good colorway. Those are probably $40 once I cleaned them up. And I didn't look up these New Balances, but I think they're going to be really good. This, uh, These type of New Balances always sell really fast for me. These are 10 and they're a size men's 15, bigger size. So they will definitely be worth 10. I'll put a comp on the screen of the exact model. Some men's vans, but ah, 13 bucks is too high for them. But we are off to a good start. I hope I didn't just jinx myself and this is all we find, but we will see. This is a score though. I've showed you guys this brand before, Pac. Pac is a fantastic brand to look out for. It's $8, but this is probably a $50 helmet. If these were new, it'd be worth it, but used, I'm not gonna get them. I thought they were new for a second. All right, we just found some really good scores. So for one, I thought these were gonna be good. These Amazon speakers for eight bucks a piece. Unfortunately, they only go for about 20, but over here, well, for one, found an eye clicker too. Oh, and you can see it's missing the back. I mean, even still, I'll get like 15 for it. But this is the score. This Bushnell Tour V2 range finder. I just looked it up and it goes for about 80 to 100 and it's only six dollars so if you didn't know range finders are a big bow low even like you know some lower end brand ones can still sell for pretty decent money looking over in the women's shoes now some camo hey dudes for six uh, they're such a small size i think those are probably kids too so i'm gonna leave them behind for six if there were like three i'd get them all right i'm gonna go ahead and check out with everything i am gonna pick these up for 13. they sell for about 50 plus shipping very consistently and same for these new balance baseball shoes okay i spent 75 on everything which is not bad i'll make the majority of my money back just off the bushnell range finder i love finding those those always sell really fast for me and golf season's coming up so they'll sell quick these ski boots are both in really good condition, so those should also sell well even though the ski season's coming to an end. I do still sell ski boots year round. Obviously not as much as I do in the winter, but I still sell about one pair every two weeks, so it's, it's not bad for summertime. Uh, yeah, with that, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the truck, go ahead to storage, pull some orders. You will see that at the end of this video though. We are at Rethink Thrift. I don't typically come here on Wednesdays, but they had gotten some really good donations yesterday and they usually stock their uh, donations that they get pretty quickly. So I'm hoping some of the stuff I saw yesterday is on the shelf. And this here is one of the things I saw. I'm gonna have to look up this model, see how it does, but these garments can be really, really good. Over in the shoes, I just found these Topo athletic hiking shoes. Topo is a really good brand. These should go for about 50 bucks and they're only gonna be five. These are also gonna be really good. Good condition for Birkenstocks too. They are 10, but those are gonna go for 40. So yesterday I saw on the donation bin a Bose Wave radio. I'm guessing because all the other stuff has been put out that is sold already, unfortunately. But yeah, that's one of the things I was hoping to find. I found this Garmin Forerunner in the uh, glass case. Some of these can be worth really good money. This one's only worth about 20. So I might get it if it makes it to half off, but right now, no. But look out for them, they can be valuable. I just looked up the Garmin uh, GPS. It's for like hiking and backpacking. It's a portable GPS. And this one goes for about 50 to 60. So one thing I've always had really good luck with is holsters, surprisingly. This one's 13, so it's a little too steep. Maybe if it's here, half off day. But that's probably like 40 bucks on eBay. Holsters sell really well for me, surprisingly, and fast. Okay, I spent $20 even on there, in there. I had a $5 off punch card, so it was supposed to be 25. Um, it's 
good stuff three only three things but three good fast selling items the garmin e-trex vista cx like i said 50 to 60 there i doubled my money on that these birkenstocks are in really good condition for used birkenstocks it's a pretty decent model i should get about 40 for these and they'll sell quickly coming into summertime along with these topo athletic hiking shoes and topo is like an up-and-coming brand it's not huge right now but it's it does well it's like uh, it's becoming more and more popular so these this is a brand you want to look out for it, that is the symbol on the side you will see and yeah t-o-p-o -O. good brand those will sell quickly for roughly 40 maybe 50 and with that i'm done today i'll be at goodwill tomorrow it is now the next day and i am back outside of goodwill in belgrade uh let's run in here and see if we can find some stuff to i forgot my keys in here as I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted. Hopefully we can find some stuff to flip. Some Reebok cross training shoes for 10. These are gonna be worth about 30 to 40. I got excited for a minute, but man, that's a big hole. Can't even really sell these as beaters, unfortunately. So there's four pairs of those Hoka, same model, all with the same hole in the same spot. I don't know how you wear shoes that bad, but. So I just found this uh, Great Plains Real Flight Simulator. It's 25 bucks though, so it's too much. They do sell very well for about 50 bucks plus shipping, but with 25, it just there wouldn't be enough profit. Maybe 10 to 15 dollars after fees. I wasn't finding a whole lot here, but then my favorite brand of shoes caught my eye on Cloud. These are 13 dollars, but they will sell for about 50 to 60. They're in pretty good condition. Just need to be cleaned up a bit. Okay, so I didn't film it because it was on the new cart, but we got a few more pairs of shoes that just came out. These Solomon's Gore-Tex hiking boots. They're pretty, a bit dirty, but they are only 10 bucks. Gore-Tex and Solomon, I've had really good luck with. These are probably 50 to 60. I found a pair of Hoka's I am gonna pick up. They are $8. They are gonna be a beater pair. They're pretty dirty. They have some wet, light tread wear, but like a couple, little bit of rub in the heel. And these should go for like 30. And these, another, I found another pair of on clouds. I cannot really talk today. Uh, they are very, very dirty if you can't tell, but it's all stuff that'll clean up well. Just take a magic eraser, some acetone around the uh, gums, and yeah, be good to go. These are a very popular model. Once I clean them up, I should get roughly 40 for them, and they are only $6. And then a pair I love picking up, Allen Edmonds. They are a very small size. They're a men's 7.5, but they're only $8. I mean, they're a good model, good condition. They should go for 70 uh, to the right buyer when he comes along. They might take a while to sell being such a small size, but they will still sell. It's looking like this stop might just be all shoes, but hey, there's some good shoes in there. Those on clouds will sell within a couple days. Okay, I'm checking the sporting goods section again, and I found these FootJoy golf shoes. For one, I have never seen FootJoys like these, and they seem to be very rare. Um, when I searched this model, there was nothing that came up, but similar ones that were sold like for 500 and 300, and I don't think I'll get that much. I'm, I'm very confused on how much I'll get on these, but for 10 bucks, I'm gonna take a chance on them. I bet you I can get at least 50 for them, but hopefully, hopefully more. Uh, but yeah, I cannot find anything on them. Okay, that wraps up this stop. I spent $55 even on everything. Not bad, only shoes, but hey, I'll make all the money back on just the one pair of on clouds. These will get me about 40 bucks once I clean them up. So overall, I think a good stop, you know, no hard goods, but you know I love selling my shoes. Now we're gonna head back in time to yesterday where I went to storage, pulled some orders, showed you guys what sold, how much they sold for, and a little behind the scenes of my reselling business. We are now at my storage unit. We're gonna quickly pull some orders, show you some of the highlights of what sold over the last past 48 hours, and head home and ship because it's kinda cold out. I picked up this uh, Echo Dot in my Utah trip for $3 and it sold for 25 very fast. And remember guys, no cuss for us. This thing already has like five watchers on it for 50 bucks, it's insane. Also down in Utah, I picked up two DVD VCR combo units, uh, the Sony one and the JVC, and they actually both already sold to the same buyer. So not only am I going to be saving money on shipping, as Drew from Tip of the Mitt Flip says, saving money makes you more money. But yeah, prices, uh, $75 for the Sony and $60 for the JVC. I think I paid $8 for the Sony and 
six dollars for the JVC, so not bad. So I picked these up like back in the beginning when I first started making uh, videos again a few months ago. These title boxing timers, and they sat in my death pile for a while. Um, oops, sorry, turning it around. I don't know why. For some reason, I had in my mind that they were going to be harder to test or something was wrong with them, and there, there wasn't, so I don't know why I had them in my death pile for so long. I paid $15 a piece. I listed them a couple days ago. This one already sold for $140, and I have one listed, the other, I have another one listed for $140, and then one listed for $160 because it has a stand, so, oh, that's, yeah, I can't believe I let it sit for so long. List your death pile. Up here, this Mr. Coffee iced teapot sold. All right, try and get it down. I bought this, I think, recently at Four Corners Thrift for three or four dollars on a half off day, I think, and it sold for 50. So, unfortunately, this year, Peaches to Beaches has already happened. I haven't been to any of these highway, highway sales ever, um, but at the rate my channel's growing by next summer, I expect to be going down there and hitting up all the, you know, big yard sales, filming it, making cool series out of that. I'm really excited for yard sale season to come up because, I mean, sorry, oh my, got something in my eye there. Um, I'm excited for yard sale season, I'm sure, as everyone is. I've already been to a few this year. Montanans are crazy. They're... There's one I went to the other day. I didn't film it. There's snow all in the yard, and they had it out in their driveway. I bought some camera stuff. Uh, I was not expecting to go to it. I saw a sign. I'm like, are you serious? There's snow. Uh, luckily, snow's been melting fast here, so it's not sticking really. But yeah, so I went there, and yeah. Sorry, I'm getting off track here. Yard sale season's coming back up. I am excited, as I know all you guys are. Um, I'm sure you guys are kind of... I know you guys like the thrifting content, but I'm sure you guys want to see yard sale content, too. And yard sales here in Montana, especially Bozeman, are amazing. I've always had really, really good luck at yard sales here. So I'm so excited to take you guys along with me. It's probably another month, month and a half, before it's in full swing. Maybe, like, one a weekend at the moment, but I'm so excited. All right, as you guys might know, I picked up two of these uh, for $15 a piece. One had already sold, and the second one just sold. This Audio-Technica microphone system, it just sold for $80. Obviously, I like selling massagers. This one has been listed a while, this Dr. Scholl's massager, but it finally sold for $60. I forgot, I also went to a yard sale just a few days ago, and it was right across from my old house. It was my old neighbors having one, so it was cool to be over there in that area. I bought a box of a, that had a PlayStation 3 along with a bunch of games and a couple controllers. I paid 30 for the whole box. Again, I should have filmed it. I just wasn't expecting to find much. Um, but this summer I'm going to be filming all sales no matter what. But I paid 30 for the whole box. This PlayStation 3 sold in a day for 90 along with the game Resistance 3 and this sold for 15. And then I sold a Wilson baseball glove for $25 on Mercari. Oh my gosh. So I know you guys probably don't care about this. I just think it's so cool. I got my first offer for a sponsorship. I can't believe it. I'm not even at 4,000 subscribers yet. By the time... No, not by the time you guys are seeing this video. Uh, maybe by the time you guys are seeing... By the time you guys are seeing this video, I'll hit 4,000. I'm getting very close. I'm at like... 3,870 and it's growing. I'm gaining 30 to 50 a day on average. So it's awesome. But I've already got an offer for a sponsorship. I am currently testing it out. It's something that is, you know, all resellers were, would use, you know, for selling. Um, it's for a selling platform, not eBay. I, like, so I'm not going to get too into it, but I think it's so cool. I just thought I'd share that with you guys. Like I said, I know you probably don't care. It's just very exciting for me, the growth of the channel so quickly. And yeah, I'm, I'm stoked. In the shoes, I sold a pair of these little Hunter ankle boots. Um, Hunter's a decent brand. These took a while to sell, but they sold for 50. And I picked up these Allen Edmonds at Goodwill on their half off day for $9. And they sold for 50 as well. With that, I am going to wrap up today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember, every 1,000 subscribers is a subscriber giveaway. American Bubble Boy Bubble Wrap, so make sure you're subscribed for a chance to win. Until next time, bye.